Because you talk so much shit about internet stars and, you know, how we became famous from the internet. So we don't know nothing about real comedy. I'm saying, just because y'all didn't have internet back in the day don't fucking mean that we don't appreciate I see with the vets, I feel like vets should do, and a lot of vets do this already. But the bitter ones make it bad for the other ones. You know what I'm saying? Take us under your wing. Choose the teachers. We don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? Teach us shit. You know what I'm saying? And we can help you with the followers. You know? Right now, internet is the new wave. And this new social life is the new shit. We're a draw right now. That's why we selling shows out. Me, DC, uh, you know, uh, uh, Toya. You know, all, all the anime. Ha Ha Davis. Big ups. Yeah, who the fuck said Rennie? Man, who the fuck said social can't break internet? Man, we that's where we started at. Look where we at now. The world knows our name, and we still got some more to go. Y'all supposed to congratulate this generation. I'm saying, because shit, times has changed now. We have internet. Internet is the new TV. That's how people watch us. You can't bash what we do. And then you see us. You want to take a picture. What you want a picture for? For followers? Oh, all right. You don't even like us. The fuck? And then we some of the most humble motherfuckers, but people like com Comic Steve Brown really make niggas like wanna, yo, like real shit. You're clearly a hater. And then you try to do, you talk shit about it and that shit. Then you try to do it. Yo got a whole parody of the Monique video on his page. You're not funny online. Now see, somebody else gonna do a real parody. You need to sit your ass down in the corner Take notes. Like, leave that shit to one of these internet people. I'm not going to do it because I don't think what she said was funny at all. She wasn't trying to be funny. She was trying to get a point across. So I'm just going to conclude it with this. I'm sick as a bitch. I was thinking about that shit all night. I was seeing the video. Then I seen his phony ass video. <clears throat> talking about he didn't say anything. And then going to blame the comedy clubs. Talking about security. Nigga, you wouldn't need security if you just tell jokes. That's it. Just do your set. What Tony Robbins say? You need your ass whipped. And last night, if you just stop running... You done got your ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> right now in the comedy house, Jesus. <laughs> Hey, go to bed, man. Cut that car chronicles shit out. Like I said, your time is done. Your time, that, that, that's my time. I'm, I'm comic Steve Brown, yeah. Go sit your ass down, bro. Sit your dumb ass down. It's fuck. And he came at to that ass. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cleon for making your situation funnier. But you scared of shit, scared of shit up on that stage, Steve. Stop. You better stop playing with your damn self. Look, boy. Even on my sickest day, you can't fuck with me. I don't care, man. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. He, he got up and started zapping out. And you ain't tried to defuse the situation. You started trying to make fun of his ass. I got two cars, too. Two houses. <laughs> like, what the... <laughs> yeah, he was talking about... He called himself to talk about me. I'm a joke thief. Okay, okay. Prove that shit. <laughs> Funny as shit. Talk about you. <laughs> you mad. You bad as shit. Look, he went in the car to make that video. He couldn't even make that shit in the house. He had to look like he was going somewhere. <laughs> I never said you was broke. I, okay, nice, cool, Maserati. Cool, cool, cool. I... I got two. <laughs> he mad as shit in the car after he cried. He mad as shit. Ah, you mad. My work is done again, nigga. You know everything you say about me a lot. You don't know me.